Hey guys, I'm Adrian Cartoon Hangover, and thanks to Better one creator's spoilers. near unshakable resolve, and a vault of characters that would make the cast of Infinity War look small, My Hero Academia breeds new life into the aging genre. So whether you're an All Might fanatic or just a civilian bystander, we've got something for everyone. If there's a spoiler, I'm turning it off. You should know about My Hero Academia. Let's get started. My Hero Academia, or Boku no Hero Academia in Japan, is based off of a manga series that debuted in July 2014. I had no idea it was based off the series. Spoilers or no spoilers? What do y'all think? Damn, bro, I gotta order food. Hold on. I'm fucking starving. Wait a minute. We'll start this video in a minute, bro. I need, I need to order something. My, 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 my heart's racing. Hold on. Let, let me see. What should I get? Hmm. Hmm. You know what I want? I've been really into uh, Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I don't know if y'all have that by you. But um, I'm gonna order. It's called the Peanut Butter Banana Crunch fl on Flatbread. I usually get two of those. I'm gonna get two of these. I'm fucking starving, man. Should I get a... Cookie? Yeah, I'll add a cookie, bro. I've been fat. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm going to Disney next week. You think I'm going to care about my weight at Disney? I want ice cream, bro. Give a fuck about if I add weight. Let's see. Should I do priority? Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> Let me use some of my my my, my, my donation money. <laughs> there we go. I ordered it. Get some sushi? Spoiler for season one? Right. In Japan's most famous manga magazine, Weekly Shonen Jump. It's written and illustrated by Kohei Horikoshi. Just like Deku, Horikoshi was chasing some big dreams. Wow, wait a minute. I like these. Is that Deku? I, I like this look at Deku better. Dreams. His goal was to get into Shonen Jump, and fortunately, also like Deku, he didn't give up. Horikoshi previously worked on other manga like Barrage and Omagadoki Zoo in Shonen Jump. My Hero Academia is by far his biggest hit. After Omagadoki yeah. Zoo and Barrage were cancelled, Horikoshi was convinced that he was unfit to draw manga. Depressed after the quick cancellation- Bro, a lot of these mangakas, you hear that they're like depressed, or they weren't accepted, or their art was terrible, or, or that they failed and they were told no, and then they go on to make like the greatest- Thing since fucking sliced bread. In his second series, Horikoshi decided to the most searched animes and happy feelings into his new work. He made the My Hero one shot using his newfound ideology as a foundation for the Academia series. The one shot My Hero debuted six years before Academia. All right, Deku's head is as big as mine there. In the 2008 winter issue of Akamaru Jump, now known as Jump Next, there are a few notable differences between Izuku Midoriya from My Hero to My Hero Academia. For one, in the one shot, Midoriya, Midoriya. Why would I call him Midoriya? Nah, I just call him fucking Deku, bro. It's so simple to say. God, his name isn't Izuku at all. It's Jack. He's also old. Jack. Oh, good old Jack. <laughs> Y'all remember the Japanese guy named Jack? They're an actually salary man instead of a student. According to Horikoshi, my hero wasn't really suited to appear in a shonen magazine because the main character was fully grown at the time. Creating a hero academy was the natural evolution of his ideas, especially because shonen jump readers are usually students, so school would be the most relatable setting. Horikoshi picked a school setting because he loves origin stories. I fucking love the idea of my hero. I love it. It's like, even when I heard the idea, I'm like, I feel like I'm going to love this show. As long as it's funny, as long as it's fun, it's good. And it is. But, like, the idea of just, like, a superhero school and powers and different quirks, it's so fucking fun, man. Like, honestly, like, it's an, it's an idea that if done right, it could be such a good idea. Like, The Incredibles, kind of. I always love the idea of The Incredibles. Like, superhero families and shit. You know what I mean? It's so fun. It's like Marvel if it was fucking good. And the things they must learn along the way. However, he does admit that it limits the scope of the series. Horikoshi says, "Like you have this, and then you have like that Gen Z, that Gen V show. Fuck that." He doesn't like to use cliffhangers in his work and worries that readers won't like the next chapter. When Horikoshi read his using Tumblr words, academia, he tried to give him a more complicated look with longer hair covering one eye. How? Yeah, now nah, you know what. Looking at it now, Yami Kumo. Looking at that now, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Y even though um, Ochako looks pretty cute, she looks fine. But it just made Deku look like he needed a haircut. Horikoshi then figured that spoilers. The what spoiler? What are you talking about? Dude said he fact checked the video before. He said there's no spoilers. What? What was the spoiler? His height? Simpler Deku's design, the better. The decision to turn the manga into an anime was made very early on, less than a year into the manga's production. Horikoshi was so surprised that it took a few days to actually hit him that he'd be getting his own TV show. As a reference, it took over two years for One Piece, the most popular manga of all time. 
to get a show. Horikoshi actually found out that My Hero Academia had been greenlit for an anime when his editor casually dropped the news during their weekly Friday discussions. The producer of the anime, Wakana Akamura, acknowledged that shonen anime doesn't always have the highest production value. However, because she saw the capability of My Hero Academia to become an internet- It doesn't need the highest production. Well, because it's already relatable to a majority of people. That's all it needs. Relatability. Hit, she made sure that it was given the care it deserved from the get-go. When Horikoshi found- But higher production assists, for sure. Look at Demon Slayer. Like, would you- Do you think- Be honest with yourselves. General- Like, ge like genuine question. Would Demon Slayer be as popular as it is right now if it had bad animation? Like, if it just had standard animation. Nothing flashy like it is now. Like, do you- What do you think? No? So y'all think like Demon Slayer is carried by animation then like it's popularity. I know I don't know to be honest with you. Like Liv, for example, she doesn't give a fuck about the great animation. She just loves like Nezko. She loves Tanjiro and Nosuke. Like the the animation does nothing towards her like um gen like her interest in it. She loves it. I I think, honestly, Demon Slayer maybe like a little bit less popular if the animation was just standard it was just normal i don't think like oh it goes from a 10 to a zero no nah, i don't think so at all i think it would still be as um popular my hero academia was coming to america he was a little bit worried he didn't think that his series would be popular overseas in oh. fact he still isn't sure that everyone who's reading it actually enjoys it guess he didn't realize how superhero crazy we are over here you know yeah. who did realize though mangaka masashi kishimoto he we love our superheroes that the series would be hit with a foreign audience and i think the author of naruto knows a thing or two about that upon the release of the anime my hero academia got a unique shout out and fan art from kishimoto man it's so like he looks like he poured his heart into this, and he's just like a guy that draws what he wants to do. And then you have idiot fucking fan bases ruining it. Check it out. My Hero Academia kicked off right around the time that Naruto finally concluded. As a result, Kishimo had cited similarities between Naruto and Deku as part of the reason why My Hero Academia was able to fill the void left in fans' hearts by Naruto's ending. Eiichiro Oda, the creator of One Piece, also praised yeah. Horikoshi's work and says he's proud to be in the same publication as him. Wow. Horikoshi's so much love between these artists. That's how it should be, bro. You know what ruins it? The fucking fan bases. That's what ruins it. That's why I don't want to be a part of any fan base. Leave me out of it, bro. Keep me out of fan bases. I don't want to be a part of it. Favorite manga artist is Akira I said Toriyama it. of Dragon Ball Z fame. Many fans can see Toriyama's Rip. influence in Horikoshi's wide cast of powerful, sometimes non-human characters. Horikoshi enjoys American comics as well. Out of all of them, Horikoshi draws the most from Spider-Man. I will never be disappointed with Spider-Man. I have always loved Spider-Man. I've loved the comics when I was a kid. I loved the movies, every Tobey Maguire movie, every Andrew Garfield movie, yes, even Amazing Spider-Man 2. I still found something with joy in that. I loved the Tom Holland movies, especially the crossover with um, Tobey and Andrew. Spider-Man is one thing I hope they never fucking ruin. Somehow they did with Madam Web, but nobody gives a fuck about that, let's be honest. Spider-Man. To him, Spider-Man is a quintessential superhero, someone who's always there to save the day, and also reassures everyone that they're going Spider -Man to... Spider-Man is peak, bro. I'll always love Spider-Man. The video games? Don't even get me started, bro. I'm not even talking about the PS5 ones. I'm talking about the video games when I was a kid, man. Oh my god, like Spider-Man on the GameCube. Dude. Just your friendly neighborhood academy where students train to become heroes. You know, no big deal. In the first chapter of the manga, a who's who of modern superheroes actually appear in silhouette form, including Spider-Man, Superman, and Wolverine. In chapter 34, you can catch the Flash in the stands during Todoroki and Hanta Sero's fight. Forgetting oh, Todoroki shit! And doing it in his fight. Those you can see Panda Man and the Flash! Aren't the only I never knew that! Infringing silhouettes ...that had to be cut from the anime adaptation. In the manga, Nintendo's Mario and all of his buddies are used in present- That's not Mario, that's Maria! ...Mike's explanation of the point <laughs> It's Mari Do. <laughs> Dario. One more crowd spot. This one's for the deep Horikoshi fans. Shishido and Toy Toy from Horikoshi's other manga series, Omagadoki Zoo. I don't know about you, bro, but if I was like an American and, and I made Spider Man or The Flash, I'd be so fucking honored that someone in Japan made like an anime and made like a reference to my art. You know what I mean? Like, I would never be mad at that. Godzilla. Even though Godzilla is like Japan. But I mean, like, Mario. Mario's Japan, too. What am I talking about? Like, The Flash. I don't think The Flash was made in Japan, right, bro? Like, I, I don't know. But, like, The Flash, I'd be so fucking honored. 
Make their return. The anime is produced by Bones, an animation studio in Japan that's responsible for the two Full Metal Alchemist series, which are my favorite, by the way, as well as a Cowboy Bebop what an movie, insert. and many, many others. Name wow. your favorites down below. Of all the goodness that comes with an anime adaptation, Horikoshi was most excited for the action. He'd gotten feedback that the action scenes in the manga were hard to follow, so he figured that animation would help clear Yeah, the, the action sequences in the anime and the movie are fucking great. You cannot say that's not. Kenji Nagasaki. The Bro, the volume's as high as it is. Director of the My Hero Academy, as high as it can be. First got into the industry after seeing Studio Ghibli's Castle in the Sky. The film showed him that anime Peak. is a source of artistic impression and fueled his passion to join the industry. Nagasaki. Castle in the Sky, Grave and Fireflies, top two. Nagasaki said that the most difficult part of adapting the manga was keeping the originality and passion that went into creating this world. They were challenged to find ways to incorporate music and visual. I wonder if he'll mention Mineta. The head animator of the series is Yutaka Nakamura. He's been behind some iconic anime like Neon Genesis Evangelion, Full Metal Alchemist, and Cowboy Bebop. In 2015, is this guy saying the names right? Just over a year before the anime began airing, My Hero Academia was given a vomit, or voice comic, of the first chapter. They cast relatively unknown voice actors, with the exception of the prolific Tesho Genda. Good. Hire more unknown names. Hollywood doesn't do that. Oh, Chris Pratt? Oh, Chris Pratt, he, he could voice um, Naruto. As All Might. Genda's Fuck out of here, bro! To you because he's the voice of Kurama, Naruto, and Kaido in One Piece. Actually, Holy Daichi shit, Yamashita, Kaido. who voiced Deku in the vomit, went on to voice him in the anime. Horikoshi had never given much the thought fuck to is Deku's Kurama. voice, but after hearing Yamashita in the radio drama, he found it difficult to imagine anyone else in that role. The anime debuted in April 2016 and brought the franchise to worldwide levels of popularity. Seriously, look at any top book ranking charts, I'm sure you're gonna find My Hero Academia somewhere in there. In Japanese, the nickname Deku was given to Izuku by Bakugo when they were younger. Deku is another reading of his name, and Bakugo uses it to mock Izuku, as Deku can mean one who can can't achieve anything or do anything. However, Ochako finds the name very inspiring because I gotta learn what Bakugo's deal is, and I hope we learn it eventually, bro. I really hope because I I, I get pissed every time Bak Bakugo. The second he sees Midoriya, bro, he's like, Rah! like, like I don't get it, bro. Why is he turning into a fucking dinosaur every time? Why is he so mad? Nobody's that mad, bro. I've seen fatherless people my entire life. Motherless people, they don't act that mad. I've never seen anybody that mad, bro. Deku gives off a feeling of, I can do it. Since it sounds like the word Dekiru, Izuku decides to own the nickname because of it. However, in the English dub, Japanese wordplay obviously doesn't work. So instead, Ochako just thinks that Deku's name sounds cute. And Izuku, having a low-key crush on her, decides to keep it. After being saved by his hero All Might, Deku receives the miraculous one for all power think so. and finally gets to apply for UA High School as a fully fledged hero in training. Like every Shonen Jump lead, he's kinda cool like Goku. If every Shonen Jump comic has its Goku, each one has to have a Sasuke or Vegeta character too. Deku's yeah. rival is his childhood friend yeah. Bakugo. Every every anime needs a Sasuke. Bro, look at his pants. Oh my god, he's sagging. He has that New York culture. Who can't stand to lose, especially to Deku. Y'all better not be spoiling in the chat. I see people mentioning spoilers. He's not the Fuck least bit scared of putting himself in harm's way if it means winning. Besides his sheer determination, another impressive characteristic is Bakugo's general explosion part. By the way, instead of using the general word power, the My Hero Academia specific term for superhero power is quirk. There are all kinds of quirks. Big ones, small ones, fiery ones, icy ones. Everything from shape-shifting to animals with high degrees of intelligence. Due to the rampant presence and variation of quirks in My Hero Academia, I keep Academia, seeing Mineta, I'm getting impossible. pissed for the law to strictly regulate or accommodate for all of them. So there's a universal don't use your quirk in public unless it's in self-defense rule that everyone is subject to. However, like jaywalking, people tend to be lenient towards minor violation of the law as long as the quirk is something safe like levitation and not <laughs> I remember this, bro. Fucking Usopp. I remember this shit, bro. This is the first episode. I'm like, oh, I know what I'm in for. When I saw this episode, yeah. Bro, if I had my quirk, I'd be showing it off all over the place. I'm not gonna hide that shit. I don't care, bro. No, try to lock me up. Try. Not explosions. Horikoshi has an issue coming up with character names. A lot of the time, he'll pick something because it sounds funny or contains a pun, then regret it later because it turns out to be a silly name, like Tetsu 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 Tetsu. One of the kanji in Izuku's name is a homophone to the kanji for nine, which could allude to him being the ninth one for all user. Likewise, All Might's oh, real name includes the kanji for That's eight, interesting. That's one of the only interesting facts so far. I'm like, oh shit, that's, yeah, the net guy, I remember that. Him as the eighth user. The villain that All Might swoops in and defeats in episode nine is never actually called by the name in the anime. In Dickhead. The manga, his name is revealed to be Trapezius Headgear. The first oh, I thought he was gonna be called like Dickhead, penis. 
First My Hero Academia character poll, which was released after chapter 62 of the manga, lists Deku, Todoroki, and Bakugo as the three most popular characters. Behind them in the top 10, Ochako, All Might, Tsuyu, Fumikage, Tenya, Shota, and Denki. Just in Wait, who's the most popular My Hero character? Like, you know how in like, Attack on Titan, it's like Levi? Who's My Hero? Bro, listen, bro. Anybody that spoils anything, just ban them for life. Never unban them. Like, if you ever spoil something in my chat, you're never gonna get a second chance. F fuck you. Alright? Just ban them for life. I'm not giving you- I don't believe in second chances. You fuck up once, you're a fuck up your entire life. Todoroki? Mineta? Don't say Mineta. Fuck out of here. Um, Nick, till now, if you have given a chance, which quirk want for you? If I had a quirk, bro. I'd want to fly. I definitely want to fly because I've loved birds since I was a kid. I've always wanted to be a bird, right? So, like, I definitely want to fly. So, like, I tie it with being an air nomad, like air bending. I think my quirk would be similar to air bending. I'd want to bend air. I'd want to have the control of air, wind within me. That would be mine. Without a doubt. Also, teleportation is pretty cool. But, like, I don't know. I think I think flying, wind, air, that that's definitely me. Briner, who voices Deku, has said the most relatable part of Deku is his passion and determination. Even if you're not at his level of fanaticism, simply having passion for the things you do and admiration for the people who do them better is enough to understand him, which makes yep. it easy for Briner to tap into his feelings. According to Briner, he believes the true message of the show lies within the lesson that Deku must learn of never giving up. That with hard work never giving up. you can achieve your goals. It's like the John Cena. Of the first season of the anime is The Day by Pornography. The band also performed the opening theme for Full Metal Alchemist, as well as the 11th opening of Bleach. The ending theme of the wow. first season is Brian the Sun's Heroes. It's and I can't wait for TK. When TK does the opening, I think season 7 is coming out, right? For My Hero, when does that come out? Next month? Just wait, bro. Just wait. That, oh, that opening's going to fucking take over. I cannot wait to react to that. Oh my god, we're back in business when that comes out. The band's first major foray into the world of anime theme writing. Fun fact, Deku's costume costs about 40,380 yen, or about 366 US dollars. Wow! It wow. Is badass to be Shoto Todoroki. The best, the fucking goat of my hero is right there, Todoroki the goat. But it takes a lot of work to says. keep his life together. His costume is both a radiator and air conditioner, depending on which he needs. And his boots are equipped with cleats in case he accidentally freezes the ground he's standing on. Fans have compared wow. Todoroki to Prince Zuko. I, I always, always, whenever I saw a picture of Todoroki, I'd call him Zuko. Even before I watched anime on my channel, I'd just call him Zuko. It's fucking Zuko, bro. I love it. Like, they would be best friends. From Avatar The Last Airbender. Both are pyromancers with gnarly eye scars and serious daddy issues. Ignoring the fact yeah. that the show is about, well, superheroes. Totally different characters, but it just reminds me of each other. blood type is AB, which is nearly impossible without some genetic complication. But again, Guys, what's your blood type? I don't even know what mine is. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. Shoto inherited fire superpowers from his dad, so maybe a blood mismatch isn't so far-fetched. Bakugo can create explosions with just his sweaty palms. This is due to the sweat- That's gonna be something in the future, watch. Like, you know how girls, or just, like, I don't even know if it's mostly girls, that they're into astro astrology? One day it's gonna be, what's your blood type? Oh, I don't fuck with blood A's. I don't fuck with A pluses. We, we only do the B's, you know what I mean? Decrees. One day, I'm calling it. Light, which allows his hands to disperse explosive energy. Well, if anything, it packs one hell of a punch. Bakugo yeah. wasn't always Katsuki's first name. Originally, he was going to be called Gogo. The Baku part- Gogo? <laughs> oh, shit! He looks like a Gogo! An allusion to the Japanese word for explosion. So the Gogo! Captures his powers and I'm gonna start calling him that. In an early draft, Bakugo was written as a highly competent, friendlier genius. <laughs> what? Holy shit! They really flipped that! who only offended or hurt people because he was so out of touch. Horikoshi found this boring though, and scrapped it. One of the reasons Horikoshi found Ochiko is such a bubbly, lively character is because he knew she'd share a lot of the screen time with Deku. So, Ochako, Uraraka, I love her. I really love her, honestly. Like, usually I hate shonen women, <laughs> like Inoue. Um, I didn't like Sakura, now I do, now I love Sakura. But um, like Inoue, for example, you could compare Inoue to a lot of characters in anime, and I fucking hate that type of character. I really do. It annoys me. That character and the and the and the like the angry characters. Those are two characters that I've really been pissed at. You know that I that it just annoys me, man. 
that really annoys me. Ochako is 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 cute. It's it's cute done right. Of the two of them, someone had to actually drive the conversation. Originally, Mount Lady, was like Nobura, for example. Sometimes Nobura would annoy me, like the misty type character, the guy, the girl that's always like 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 punching the boy or some shit. Like I hate that, bro. I also hate the super thirsty characters, the fucking cucks was going to be the heroine co-star of the series, but Horikoshi scrapped it because he felt like focusing on a character whose only power is growing would lead to dark places. What? <laughs> so he wrote Mineta. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Horikoshi is proud of himself for coming up with Ochiko's name. Her name literally means tea child pretty day, with her last name being homophonous for beautiful. All Might, whose real name is Toshinori Yagi, has eyes that are all black except for the pupils. Why? According to Horikoshi, it's because he's such an emaciated bag of bones that his eyes are perpetually cast in shadows. His wow, I've been wondering. I'm like, why the fuck are his eyes so black? Visible pupils, however, show that they're still- Yeah, like Zenitsu fucking annoys me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, bro. He annoys me. Other people find it funny. Like, I was in the theater watching the Demon Slayer movie, and people were like, ha 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 ha, And I'm like, ugh, shut up. Light like, I get annoyed at that shit, bro. And that's cool! Ah, like, I, I don't know, bro, it's too much for me. It's too much, it's annoying. All Might, but Horikoshi's colleagues certainly didn't feel the same way. They felt that All Might just looked like some cheesy old guy who no one would ever idolize. That I idolize Horikoshi him. to draw him even better. The series as a whole is influenced by American comics, but All Might is a character most directly influenced by heroes. In like, honestly, Luffy, I feel like is the perfect amount of goofiness, right? Nami, Nami has her moments where she's a little bitchy, you know what I mean? But I feel like Nami is the perfect amount of bitchy and aggressive aggressiveness. Zoro is, is the perfect amount of like edgy, don't care, and then he cares, like a warrior. He he resembles like a warrior. Then you have like Sanji. Sanji gets on my nerves sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Right? But but I still think he's good. I, I think Sanji is fine. Then we get to Usopp. No. No, I just don't like Usopp. I'm just not an Usopp guy. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Chopper gets annoying, too. I'm not gonna lie. Chopper's cute. He's lucky he's cute. Robin's perfect. But Usopp... I don't know, man. I don't know. My friend, Eric, the uh, One Piece fanatic, read all the manga, up to date on the, uh, on, on the anime, loves One Piece. His whole room is like One Piece. He fucking hates Usopp, too. In fact, anime director Nagasaki points out that he's a combination of numerous existing heroes. There's even a scene in the first season where the students comment on All Might's costume and call it a Silver Age costume. All of All Might's yeah. moves are named after places in the United States. Yeah. Some Texas, Missouri. Because All Might is actually Missouri. American, yeah. or it could be an allusion to him being based on American superheroes. Sabin yeah. and Clinkenbeard put a lot of time into the development of All Might's voice. They decided that his heroic voice is completely put on to make people feel better. Meanwhile, <laughs> they wanted to make sure his true voice didn't come off like. I Love that shit. Interested Vegeta voice. They wanted it to have a truly tired, worn cadence. Chris Sabat and Justin Briner, who voice All Might and Deku, have something of mentor-mentee relationship of their own. Briner is new to That's the cool. anime voice acting scene, while Sabat is a veteran with years of Dragon Ball Z. And there he is, me. So Briner still nerds out while Sabat is used to all of it. Kenta Miyake made a touching observation about All Might's character. When he gives Deku the one for all power at the beach, he does so in his muscular form, even though Deku knows about his true form, and there's no one around to impress. Miyake and interprets this as All Might showing respect to Deku by passing the torch as a hero. Tsuyu and Toru were both designed as men at first, before Horikoshi realized that Class 1A was seriously lacking in women. As a result, both characters got gender swapped. <laughs> oh shit, imagine Sue as a boy. Oh my god, thank god, dude. Thank god. Maybe, they, may, I don't know, I don't know. Mineta would still go after him, probably. And to be honest, Tsuyu is one of the most popular characters now. <laughs> Ido, Ido. I love Tsuyu her. Tsuyu was originally designed with way fewer frog traits. This gave her a more human look, and because of this, she was going to be a more down- Should have kept him underwater, that bastard. ...character. Tsuyu's froggy influences were added in because Horikoshi always wanted to create a frog-like character. Follow your dreams? That's Tsuyu the perfect way to do it. ...frog abilities from both her mother and father. They're both frog people. Her younger siblings also- Ah, I don't want to get fucking spoiled. Shit, bro, I don't want to know about a family. Yomi comes from now I know her dad's a frog. 
I want to know about Momo's Momos. Tell me about that. Japanese mythology. Horikoshi thinks that Fumikage is the coolest guy around. He is so fucking cool, bro. Tokoyami the goat. Oh, I gotta see more of him though. Please give me more of him. I gotta know, bro. I feel like we're stepping into a uh, uh, spoiled territory now. But he suspects that Fumikage doesn't encounter that opinion in his day-to-day -day life. He's got a face only his artist mother could love. Tenya is Horikoshi's <laughs> favorite character to draw. He's one of the last characters that Horikoshi created during the serialization meetings. Apparently, his character went in a completely different direction than they'd originally planned. Tenya has an engine quirk, which according to Horikoshi, he created because it was best for a true pro hero. I love Tenya. Tenya is one of the coolest characters, bro. Especially the arc, like with his brother and stuff. So cool. Like showing his weakness. I'd react that way too, though, bro. Tenya's I'd go on a rampage around the city. Was completely different. Shredded with a bony bird mask. It was conceived Shit. before the high school setting was even decided on, explaining the drastic change. Horikoshi has said that of all his characters, the one that he'd most likely hang with at a party would be Tenya. Tenya. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 definitely. Definitely. I'd be Tenya's friend. I'd be, uh, uh, who else is front? I'd be Todoroki. I'd be Todoroki, to be honest with you. Do you want to party with? Comment down below and let us know. Denki's key role as a character, and in Class 1A, is to be the glue that holds everyone together. Like the battery powering a closed electrical circuit. Before Horikoshi carved out that role, however, he drew Denki as a generic, electric, quirked man. In fact, that early design what he looks like, like. He intended the character to be a villain. It's strange. I'd be Mineta's friend? I'd fucking murder Mineta. I'd kill him, bro. I'd be in jail. No, no, no. They wouldn't put me in jail for that. They think Apparently, me. I'd get a consolation prize. Horikoshi has trouble drawing Denki's hair the same each time. It's a struggle made easier by the fact that his hair is fun to draw either way. If there's only 18 kids to a class, then how come class 1A get rewarded for that? Horikoshi says that because Todoroki and Yao Yoruzo were added in via special recommendations. Special recommendations for Momo, guys. I they wonder what that was. The lineup, something he regrets not making clear. Class A's teacher was almost midnight instead of Aizawa. But Horikoshi Guys, remember when your teacher came out like 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 with handcuffs on her and her and her babungas out? Remember that? Swap them because the original setup would have necessitated midnight being hostile to the students. Horikoshi deliberately designed Tomura to look scary looking. Oh, and also be Oh my god, look at that, dude. He looks like um what's his name? Um um What's his name? Shit, bro. Margarita, not Margarita. What am I talking about, bro? What does he look like here? Minato. Minato. Because he From JJK. Reminds me of him. Yeah, Mahi Minato. The fuck am I talking about, bro? Mahito. Mahito. Minato. Exam was an older, overweight man. However, Horikoshi wasn't satisfied and switched him up guy. to present Mike. A Fucking younger, love him. And with the gravity-defying hair we know him Mina love, Mineta. the word Hage on present Mike's headphones, which means Baldy, is a carryover from his original design of old man. Like now, me. however, it's just a headphone brand. Baldy by Dre. Eraserhead's character was crafted when Horikoshi thought of how an absolutely 100% rational person would behave, but with bad social skills sprinkled on top. Present Mike and Eraserhead are from the same... Yeah, isn't there a Minato character? Isn't that... Naruto, like a Naruto character, Minato. Way graduating class. Oh, to see those days at the academy. Horikoshi suspects that Eraserhead has a really bare bones, undecorated room. He's that guy. <laughs> what? Oh, he likes cats, so he's probably got one of those lounge. Oh, he's a cat guy. Mount Lady's life is a constant circle of death. She's a great hero, so she's always called. So great. Wow, Mount Lady. I wish city, I was you. But consistently causes immense property damage thanks to her size. So then she needs to make the money back. I don't know, guys. What if Mount Lady wrecked your business? Would you thank her? often going too hard and destroying even more in the process. Bubble Girl isn't actually a Horikoshi original. She's fan-made. Artist Agen Chita won a Pixiv contest and got... Yep, this is definitely fan made. To have her hero you could tell. into the manga. You could tell my hero fans made this. Snipe originally appeared in the My Hero one Snipe. as positive before being retooled for the Academia. I didn't series. know that was his name. The heroic origin stories aren't just limited to the main cast. Horikoshi also loved coming up with the background information about all the little side characters. I love that. For oh my god, dude. I got oh my god. I'd love to read this. Instance, news reported I love this shit. Gaiman giving everyone lore. A great deal of criticism when he sliced off one of his horns. Some praised him for the dedication to his career, while others thought of it as self-hatred and quirk denial who don't we get elaborate backstories on though the villains in damn god i've always wanted to see backstories or just like explanation lore on the villains i'm like why are they this way i gotta know even these fucking side characters bull man over here in order to keep the baddies mysterious bull boy and threatening horikoshi is careful with the amount of god look at this panel man it's beautiful information he puts out about love this As of a year there is now oh now there is nice so, which will that's what i want boy watching this two years from now the manga had covered approximately 20 percent of the storyline horikoshi knows the entire story from beginning to end making select changes along the way wow 
damn, I feel like a lot of uh, storytellers, a lot of artists, they don't know. They don't know how something's going to end. Like, does Oda know how One Piece is going to end? I don't know how many series are still ongoing that are super big. Like, I wonder, in Attack on Titan, if Isayama knew how it would end from the beginning. I think I watched a video on that. I forgot. But, like, Bleach, did he know how Bleach would end? Yeah, Oda knows. Imagine what it is to be in Oda's brain right now. Oh, my God, dude. Is my hero end? Is it over? Is the manga done? Like, I don't even know. Because I know they're in season seven right now. I wonder if my is is my hero still going? No. Wow. So when is my when do y'all think my hero is gonna end? Wait, Shit. So this is gonna be around for a long time. To Game of Thrones are lost in the sense that there's a complete storyline that's continuing to develop in Horikoshi's head, but which no one else knows. It's a trend that wow. Saga hopes continues because it would give anime seasons like traditional American TV. While yeah. Horikoshi does love focusing yeah. on the so stories of the young heroes, he's also prepared to push them into adulthood to create stories more like American comic heroes. His proposed title for the sequel series: Boku no Hero 2. The what? Really? You have open the idea of a time skip format? Of course, I actually have something mapped out in the future that may involve the students as a professional hero. That's fucking interesting. I love that. So this is going to be going on for a long time, man. That's awesome. Wait, some of my favorite stories is when Peter Parker accidentally caused Mary Jane to die, giving her cancer due to... <laughs> oh my god! When you're an adult, even as a hero, you are likely to be exposed to something like drugs, alcohol, and sex. Oh my god, we're gonna have like Todoroki or or, or, or Momo's sex addiction arc or something. This is gonna be crazy. Like Deku or Bakugo becomes a fucking weed, a, a drug dealer. Wow. That would be insane. Bakugo's like a crack fiend. Electric. Momo has an OnlyFans. D Deku is like a, a real estate agent. Like this would be crazy. Oh, you're so funny, Horikoshi. Nagasaki says that My Hero Academia is neither a Shit. traditional superhero story nor a traditional shonen story. It's a mashup of the two which makes the show unique as it follows the conventions of both American comics and Japanese manga. A parent isn't supposed to play favorites, but Horikoshi still does with his creations. Even Bakugo's costume is one of his favorites in the series. Oh yeah, what would Mineta be doing? Oh my god. What would Mineta be, guys? Guys, what would Mineta be if they did like a time skip? What would he? Oh no! Oh god, I can't even imagine. I'm Despite worried. Its grossness. Horikoshi Fucking Bill Cosby. Been seen in interviews wearing an elaborate gas mask. No, he's not. Mineta EDP. Not trying to dress like a supervillain. EDP Mineta. Conscious showing his prison. Yeah. The other thing he gets self-conscious about his past sketches. Horikoshi's wow. love for Star Wars has actually slipped its way into the. Show. Oh, I know. I know his love for Star Wars. I notice it a lot, bro. Like Dagobah. I I, I forgot what else I did. Uh, 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 um. Um, what else did he do? Fuck. Show places like Dagobah Municipal Park and yeah. Tatooine Station. Tatooine, Dagobah, yeah, the yeah. References. I love that. I love that so much, bro. Tatooine. I'm like, bro, this dude watches Star Wars like me. There's no way he came up with just Tatooine. He had to watch Star Wars. I love that he's inspired by Star Wars when it was good. Dagobah Municipal Park is more than just a passing reference, though. Deku getting his training from All Might there mirrors Luke getting his training from Yoda on the planet. Love it. Damn, that's a great correlation. I love that. Horikoshi sometimes has dreams about his characters. It's never influenced the story before though usually dreams what, what character is he dreaming about he says they're just hanging out doing their own thing i know who i'm life. dreaming about the original manga was nominated for the and it ain't midnight very prestigious manga taisho award in a i dream about mineta burning alive though award specifically for excellent new manga the year it came out in 2014 it was nominated i with fantasize other that acclaimed mega hits like erased a silent voice and monthly girls nozaki kun in just three years the manga has over 10 million copies in print in japan Shit. that's a lot of teen superhero hijinks at yeah. the time of this video 14 volumes and 140 individual chapters of when this video come out released. oh six years ago a video game based on the series called My Hero Academia Battle for All was released for the Nintendo 3 What is this on the Switch? DS in 2016. Has to it's be. a fighting game that looks like a Switch game. Look. Covers the manga storyline up until the sports festival arc and allows you to play as all your favorite amateur heroes. There is there a good My Hero game? It looks like a brand new Switch game, to be honest with you, bro. The DS? 
Uh, I think the Diaz looked a little better. There's a My Hero Academia trading card game. We could make some lame pun like... Nobody's playing that. Here's Blue Eyes White Deku, but we'll spare you from that pain. Around the time the anime began to air, a drama CD, which are pretty popular in Japan and recorded in the vein of radio... I want to do a Yu-Gi-Oh stream, bro. Like playing Yu-Gi-Oh card game online or something. Dramas. ...was bundled with the seven volume... Look at that art! Dude, that cover is beautiful. Wow, dude. The manga. Incredible. The official soundtrack for the anime was also released on June 2016. In between the two seasons, a one-off episode of My Hero Academia was screened at the 2016 Jump Festa. A big convention for all of Sh Oh, I love that. Wow, that's beautiful, bro. And when I went to Japan, I went to um anime uh I went to Anime Japan and they had something like this outside. It's so cool to see all of these characters together. I mean, the first character I see is Luffy. What's the first character you guys see when you look at this picture? Like, if I, like, turn Luffy, Ichigo, um, who else? I don't even know, bro. Luffy, Ichigo, and Naruto is what I see, bro. That's crazy. Luffy is number one. I see Luffy right away. Even from the corner of my eye, I see Luffy. Yeah, Gintama, I see that. A lot of y'all saying Luffy. Yeah, bro. Luffy is crazy. Don't jump works. See Hinata. Exclusive one off episodes and shorts are often showcased. If you're lucky enough to be visiting Japan in the next few months, you can actually nope. attend an IRL My Hero Academia interactive puzzle solving game. You can Puzzle solving? <laughs> I ain't solving no fucking puzzle, bro. Solve puzzles, fight bad guys, and control your own quirks in Tokyo, Osaka, and Nagoya for $30 a pop. I mean, My Hero right now is in um, Universal Japan. I think they're doing like an event. I, I think I'll be able to do it. If it's still there in October, I'll be able to do it. Can't believe I missed that. I was just in Japan like three months ago. Last year, Anime Cafe in like, Ikebukuro, Tokyo hosted a limited a time My Hero Academia Cafe. You that, can okay, this is stuff that, that that's done. I want to show y'all what's going on right now in Japan. Drink Hold on. soda, eat Ultraco Zero Gravity Parfaits, and even part I love these cafes. Japan does these anime cafes, bro. I did the Chainsaw Man Cafe. It was so cool. Eating Pochita ice cream. They, they really go all out, bro. I'm telling y'all, if you ever get the fucking chance to go to Japan, go. It would be a dream come true for y'all. It is, it, it's more hype than you think. Deku's Honestly. Or pork bowl for you English speaking folk. The sometimes it's miss. Sometimes these cafes are fucking terrible, but sometimes they're peak. Anime Cafe Good is food. currently running a second My Hero Academia Cafe run, but this time the food and drinks are all based around the sports festival arc. Would bro, I'm so fucking hungry, man. I gotta go after this video. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Dude, listen, man. Never take pre-workout and caffeine. I don't know why I did that, but I'm sweating and my heart's fucking racing right now, man. I need food in my, th my stomach.